welcome, greetings. I've collected my pens, I've straightened my notes, I've applied my lip balm. Ready to go, man. My name is Alan Cox. Thanks for being here. Say hi to Bill Squire. He's right over there. Hey, grip the hoods. Get out of Alan's way. Get out of my way, homie. Cry somewhere else. Hey, Mary Santora's right over there, too. What up? Pound Cake's back in Studio G. Afternoon, white people. Hello. And it's officially summer. Hey. As of we 11 did it. As of 11 o'clock this morning, the summer solstice. When we're, uh, what is that? We're facing right at the sun, right? Right. Is that what it is? The longest day of the year. Longest I day of the year because the northern hemisphere, the top of the world is pointed at the sun. Is that what it is? I don't know. <laughs> is that what it is? Who cares? Like to, I care. <laughs> I like to get up on all my solstices. Is it solsties? So, what is the? Solstice. Solstice? I like to keep up on my vernal equinox. I like to keep up on my, my, my autumnal equinox. I like to keep up on all of my, uh, we're, we're facing the sun today. See, the thing that sucks, though, is that means that from here on out through December, the days get progressively shorter. So we've built up to a day like today. So what I'm trying to say is, irrespective of where you fall on any kind of spectrum, a political, psychological, enjoy this day as best you can. It's the longest one we'll get all year. When is the when is the sunset uh, like for today? 9:30 or something. 9 like sunset 9:04. Oh, 9:04. It's going to rain for about an hour before the sun goes down. Thunderstorms tonight around 8 o'clock. Damn it. But boy, think about that. Are you set for something outside tonight? Well, we do uh East End Bistro and Pub. I do is that a an outdoor show? show? Uh, in the summer we try to do it outside as much as we can, so we'll What time see. does that start? Uh around 8 o'clock. Mm. Now, here's my question. I will be on the funny bus tonight. Does right. that does that matter? No, because there's a there's a root. I almost said there's a lid. <laughs> there's a lid on that bus. It does right? have a lid. Yeah, it's good. yeah, it's a lid. But I thought bus. it was like open air. This, the windows are open on the side, but it's not okay. like. But a they have bus. like plastic curtains that come down if okay. it is raining okay. and stuff. Because yeah. I think I had a little bit of rain on one of my excursions. I got totally lucky with all of my funny buses. We it was and warm it's a 30% and 30 percent chance. So like 30 percent. Yeah. Uh, so anyway, if you're going joining Mary tonight on the funny bus, which uh, is sold out, um, who ca- it leaves at seven from Collision Bend. So you got to go to hour before anything might get a little bit hinky. And it's two hours long. It is 90 minutes long. 90 minutes. Yep. Uh, leaves from Collision Bend in the flats, gets back there. And um, you, if you get back in time, might have uh, – they close re- regular uh, rather early over there, but you might have time to get another pop and before you split. But uh, it's a great time. And then Pound Cake, uh, our, the last Alan Cox show, Funny Bus Week, is going to be next Wednesday. And Pound Cake will host that. He will make his, well, first and last appearance on the, uh, on the Funny Bus, so don't miss it. He'll be celebrating the solstice uh, a week late. They're doing it out there in Stonehenge, by the way. They're celebrating the, the solstice. People come from all around the world, thousands and thousands of people, just to stand there among the stones, I guess. Is that what they do? They just stand here and they go, hey, it's probably got midsummer vibes. I don't know if they throw old people off of a cliff at this thing, but about 10,000 people uh, welcome the summer solstice out there at Stonehenge. They should throw old people off a cliff. Get old people out of society. I just wanted them to get out of my way, and you uh, told me I was the worst person in the world. So I wouldn't say it to I'm a crying person's face. I'm getting mixed signals here that I have never the, sent a mixed signal in my life, Alan. I, uh, I'm not saying <laughs> you have. That's the I'm name of your next album. <laughs> <laughs> I'm I have saying never I, sent a mixed signal in my life. No, all I'm saying signals. is I'm receiving mixed signals, <laughs> and not even saying that you're sending them. Saying that that's uh, that's like what problem. I'm getting. It sounds like a me problem, doesn't Brother. it? Brother, yeah. Yeah, I hear that a lot. It sounds like a you problem. And I said, well, I got some problem with you. And um, I have a problem. But I have hand. What? Here's what happened in the kitchen. Just now? Yes. Ooh. Let me guess. Bloom Daddy was brushing his teeth in the sink. No. Oh. That wouldn't be a problem. I wouldn't care about that. I don't. I think the guy was joking. One of our audio engineers pops out of that weird little cubby hole that they keep. We them have in. audio engineers. Yeah, we have the one guy. Okay. With the glasses. We okay. We have one guy that yeah, I, I <clears throat> that I see around here all the time. Gotcha. 
Is he an audio think, engineer or just an engineer? He might just be an engineer. I don't know. I think he was joking. But he comes out, and me and a couple of the traffic people are having Comes lunch. out of where? The rack room in the kitchen? Yeah. He okay. comes out of whatever that room is. The rack room. And uh, he looks at me, and he goes, hey, Mary, I saw some of your stand-up clips on YouTube. I go, oh, yeah? Did you like them? And he goes, no. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> just, stop talking. <laughs> Was this Ted? Uh, I don't the older know his guy? name. Well, I think we have He's two. He's got glasses and dark hair. We have like a Does younger a guy. Beard? They both have beards, but there's an older uh, guy and a younger guy. He's and Ted is probably the older in his guy. 50s would be my guess. Maybe 40s, Ted. 50s. And he just goes, no. And I started laughing, and the other two traffic people started laughing, and I looked at him, and he goes, how did you want me to answer that honestly? And I was like, I I mean, you didn't have to say anything. Like, if you didn't like well, you it. Well, you asked him. But he no, brought it up to me. he brought it up. He brought up oh. that he, he said, watched it. He said, I saw your, you, right. your stand-up on YouTube. And then I said, did you like it? That's why you never ask. Never ask. Don't bring it up if you didn't like it. She well, didn't ask. <laughs> no, no, no. He brought it up. No, you just go, you go oh, great. And you move on. Move on. It's impossible. Over the 30-plus years I've worked in broadcasting, it is damn near impossible. There's a reason that engineers are engineers, because they've got a different mind. They've got um, – uh, it's an analytical situation, and, and they're, um, they're just created for that uh, position. But, boy, uh, <laughs> they will look you dead in the eye and say something like that. That's awesome. But and I so how did, did he, he was walk- joking. Did, no, because he, he like, was. He's very sarcastic. He like laughed with all of us when we laughed, and then but then when he said, "How did you want me to answer that?" I kind of just was like, "I said, well, f me, right?" And like walked out of the kitchen because we were also going on air. Did, I didn't. You like, walked well, out, or did he walk? I out? I walked out. He walked back into his cubby, or whatever that room is. Yeah, I think he was. Goofing you think with he you. was joking? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, he's very sarcastic. Okay, because I haven't had a lot Ted of interactions. Ted is very with him. sarcastic. He is. He he will literally say a joke. And then not, keep a straight face, and you know it's up to you to interpret it. Unless I'm just dumb. yeah, that's not sarcasm. That's okay. Well, anyway, I, I wasn't there, so I'll, 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 I you're um, recreating it as best you can. So I would you, assume you he was joking. Out? Yeah. Well, it was like literally one fifty nine. So I was walking out of the kitchen anyway. Now, what if he wasn't joking? Would you have said? What would you have said? I mean, I did. I didn't have anything to say. I said "f me," right, and like giggled it off and walked away. But I'm like, why say anything at all? Like if he, because that's why I'm like, he's got to be joking. Like if Maybe, you was truly, he hitting on you? No, I don't. He's married. Oh. I don't know anything about him. Um, I feel like if he truly didn't like it, he wouldn't have said, "Hey, I saw your stuff on YouTube," yeah. right? Or are people? Do people do that? Do people Some people do. I don't know what people up. do. I, I, I had I someone like today tell me do. that uh, I shouldn't have quit my day job on YouTube. Well, these aren't people I okay, know. Okay, I was gonna say that's he, different than someone yeah. saying it to your face right. yeah. that you work with. You can't let us. You, you can't let a stranger ruin your day. Well, I, mean, I didn't let it ruin my day. I'm just like, just watch my special. <laughs> Yeah. I don't even argue with him anymore. I'm like, okay, thanks for the engagement. Watch my special. Thanks for the engagement. Mm-hmm. Hey, we're engaged. Well, hey, Mazel Tov. If they took the time to watch the video and they commented, that's engagement, and that's what drives this stupid You're only helping bus. Bill. Yeah. Yeah. The algo. You're only helping the him. Old, the whole algo. Is yeah. that what we're calling it now? That's the what algo. the kids are calling it. They call it the algo? That's what my daughter calls it, mm-hmm. yeah. Um, I think he was joking. Which daughter? Older one. Okay. Uh, the hip one. Um, of course, the low one's pretty hip, too. Uh, uh, yeah, okay. Well, we should bring him in here and ask him. No, because uh, last time we did that, then our boss is treating me different ever I was since. Gonna, everyone's, no one's going to speak to you in the office. I know. Mary. Alan's going to just <laughs> one by one start bringing people in that I have problems with <laughs> and bring it to everyone's <laughs> attention. And the, until you get the picture. <laughs> that I'm the problem? <laughs> there you go. I'm not the problem. Keith Hutchins was doing my said, energy I drinks. thought you said that you don't keep things to yourself. You wear your heart on your sleeve, and that's how problems are solved. You don't ever let anybody wonder what you're thinking. I don't. What's the problem with bringing Hotchkiss in to ask him if he stole your energy boss, drinks? boss, Alan. So what? So he then he's my boss too. And if he stole something of mine, I'd ask him. Not on air. Eh, yeah, I would. I don't think he would. You're not. I, a, you're not I've a confrontational it. guy. I, yes, I, I on the air, I'll do anything. I don't care. Off the air, I don't care. If the red light's not on, it didn't happen. So I will do everything on the air. Yes, yeah. I'd absolutely. You'll do anything on the air. Show empathy. I've, I've hauled. <laughs> you can't see that. I've hauled bosses into my show dozens of times over the years and said, "Hey, what is this?" And yeah. sometimes you get a a a. 
Hotchkiss isn't a stammerer. He looked you right in the face. And he's like, yeah, I drank it. <laughs> well, he <laughs> Didn't said, know it was yours. He said, uh, I thought I brought it in. Yeah, right. And then I said, no, you didn't. And he goes, whatever, I'll buy more. See, I'm a problem solver. And then I was like, you created that problem. But he thought he brought it in. He <laughs> thought he it was didn't. his. But he thought he did. But there's no way because it wasn't there. There is no way. When he came in at 9 o'clock this morning, it wasn't there. You're telling him what he thought. And then when thought. I came in at 2, it had appeared. So you, I feel like you don't think... There's no, You're telling him what he that. thought? I don't believe that. I do not believe that you can think you brought something with you that you didn't. The guy's There's head, no way. Have you ever watched Keith Hotchkiss? His head is spinning like Blair in The Exorcist. All, he's the market manager. He's anyway, the big boss here. I'm just saying he's his head is spinning a million miles an this hour. This isn't about Keith Hotchkiss. This is it's about, about the engineer. The engineer. Yeah. Who I think was joking. I hope was joking. Just go ask him. What am I going to knock on the door? Hey, man. Yeah. Because what does that solve? I really didn't like my company. Aren't you curious? I mean, kind of. <laughs> then go ask him. <laughs> but it also doesn't matter, right? I just want to know what Not kind of me. person, if they truly don't like you, just says it. <laughs> just, hey, I don't think you're very funny at all. To your face. I mean, if I guess it's kind That's of a, a flex. That's a, great. Yeah, it's a good thing either way, where it's like, hey, man, a lot of people would have that kind of the, the balls on them to say that in person. Because what happens a lot of times, right? And I don't know anything about him other than, and than having a brief conversation with him here and there. But what happens all the time? Somebody goes, that guy's a dick. And somebody else goes, he's autistic. He doesn't know. He's on the spectrum. Yeah. You hear that all the time. People go, oh, well, okay. I don't think he's autistic. I'm not saying that. I'm saying that you hear that all the time where some people just don't present themselves or they they think it seems to you like they're telling the truth. But to <laughs> them, they're like, eh, just kidding around. Yeah. Like there's not, you know, I don't know. In audio engineer parlance, perhaps there's a missed connection. Maybe. Hmm. Anyway. Mary Santora, Nothing Matters, available now. Numbered copies. Yes. Do you still have them? I sure do. All right. Go ahead and get them. Yeah. Mary Santora, bandcamp.com backslash Mary Santora. Wait, what? Don't oh, worry about it. Don't worry about it. My head's in a million places right <laughs> yeah, now. Yeah, okay. All right. <laughs> I got to take a break. If you want to text 35192, you can go to allencoxshow.com for all the other.